Hello students. Today we are going to learn about the topic scan line polygon fill algorithm. This algorithm works by intersecting the scan line with polygon edges and fills the polygon with pair of intersection. Okay. Now this scan line polygon fill algorithm is used to as its name says it is used to fill the polygon okay so with the help of a scan line okay so how this algorithm work let's understand this three important points for each scan line first is locate the intersection of scan line with the edges second is sort the intersection points from left to right and third is draw the interior intersection points pairwise now let's see this figure as it figure shows we have located the intersection of the scan line with the edges okay now we draw a scan line from outside the polygon it is passing like this Okay, then then we sort the intersection point from left to right. That is A, B, C, and D. And then we make the pair of that intersection point, like A, B, and C, D, as we have mentioned here. A, B, and C, D. Okay, so the scan line will pass through that po this polygon, and it started filling the polygon with a certain color. Okay, now the most common example uh, we can consider for this scan line uh, polygon fill algorithm is a Xerox machine. Okay, this is the general example I am giving to you. Consider a uh, Xerox machine in that when whenever we place the document, whenever we place any document or any page on a Xerox machine, then whenever a green line passes through that document, the document get printed. Or that particular page get printed. Okay, so this is the same approach we have to use for the scan line polygon fill algorithm. Okay, in the same way we have to start filling as 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 long as the scan line passes and reaches till the end of the polygon. In this way, the coloring of polygon is carried out. Okay, now this is about the introduction. Now let's see the approach of scan line polygon fill algorithm. Now, when the scan line passes from the vertex, we have to consider two rules. If the edges of the polygon lie on the different sides, count it only once. Now, consider the case A. Here, the scan line is passing through the vertex. Okay. And the polygon, edges of the polygon lie on the two different sides. Okay. So, we have to count this as a only one point. Okay, we have to count it only once. Okay, now in the second point, if the edges of the polygon lie on the same side, then count it twice. As we have seen the case B, this is the scan line and these are the polygon edges. Okay, so this both the edges are lie on the same side of the polygon. So we have to consider it twice. Okay, so to consider this, we have considered the figure. It is having four points A, B, C, and D. Okay. And all the points we have considered as a vertex point. Okay. Now consider the point A. Okay. So point A is based on the rule one or a case one. Okay. Because the edges of the polygon lie on the different side of the point A. So we have to count it only once. Okay. Same as that, the point D is there. Okay. For that also, the edges of the polygon lie on the two different sides of the scan line. So we will consider it once. Okay. Unlike that, point B and C, we can observe that the edges of the polygon lie on the same side of the vertex point. Okay. So we will count it twice. Okay. So we have summarized here the points point a b c and d are intersected by two line segments each count b and c twice count b and c twice 
because the edges of the polygon lie on the same side of the polygon and a and d to count it once because the edges of the polygon lie on the different side okay so these are the rules which we have to follow while filling the polygon now we can summarize the algorithm steps like this for that in the first step assume that the scan line starts from the left and is outside the polygon okay as we have seen in the figure we have to start the scan line from outside the polygon okay and it crosses the polygon and comes outside of the polygon okay when intersect the edges of the polygon start the coloring process okay start all the pixels one by one when intersects the edge then stop coloring when it intersects the other edge then we also encounter certain point there okay then we have to stop coloring okay then if the edge number of edges are odd the point is inside and if the number of edges are even the point is outside we have to follow this particular criteria while filling the polygon with a sp certain specified color so this is these are the algorithm steps for the scan line fill polygon filling algorithm this is all about the algorithm thank you